the terrible spectre of Robert Black, serial killer, paedophile, hung over the Mary Boyle case for a number of years. Thought that as he had worked in Northern Ireland, Scotland and the south of England delivering posters in a marked company van during the period in question, he was employed as a van driver from 1976 to the end of the 80s, that he may have been responsible for the disappearance of Mary Boyle. It's such an unusual crime to kidnap and abduction of young children that whoever has been convicted of a crime like that is immediately placed as a suspect for all other missing cases, including Mary Boyle's case. After the conviction of Jennifer, of Robert Black for the murder and abduction of Jennifer Cardi, he again was brought into the frame. But a geographical analysis of this scene and this location tells us that was not possible. Robert Black was not responsible for the disappearance of Mary Boyle. There were three cars spotted that day and each one was noted and identified. At the time, cars were a rarity. Also a rarity were marked company vans. And even today, any time from this height, and this is the same height as the Galler homestead over there and the Macaulay homestead there, these are the equidistance between the last place where Mary Boyle was seen alive. You can see it's just simply unrealistic that Robert Black could have got here and snatched her. The nearest road is about four or 500 metres away, but it's a country road and everybody can spot a fresh, unusual car. No car was spotted that day. He may have been around major towns, conurbations, but he had no business up here. That simply didn't happen. In addition, although this is a very isolated place, there were witnesses surrounding this particular crime scene. We had two fishermen, poachers, who were well-minded to watch and keep an eye on every bit of traffic coming and going. And they were over that direction, about a mile away, Lake Column Kill. Through the Macaulay household, the only other access to this bit of land, and they would have witnessed anybody coming and going, and they've got a long driveway. You've got the Gallagher homestead over there, and there's a, about a, about a half mile, a three quarters of a mile drive up to their homestead, even to get access to that land. It's just simply not feasible that Robert Black could have used his normal MO to come and snatch Mary Boyle and take her away. Yes, he was at it. He was a serial killer during the time frame. Yes, he was in Northern Ireland, but no, he was not responsible for the disappearance of Mary Boyle.